Hi everyone, it's your man, Pardon Beckett again, with another video. Today I'm going to demonstrate how we are going to use our controller, which is H807SA, to control this DMX lead strip. First, let me go into details about our DMX LED strip. This lead strip comes with a density of 60 leads per meter. It comes with 50 by 50 SDM LED light, it has a three ounce copper PCB board with four millimeter width. It comes with the standard DMX IC chip, which is TM512AC. One of the advantages with this chip is it's really small, so you can even fold your LED strip and it won't have any effect. And one cool thing with this DMX LED strip is that you can cut after every six leads. There's a copper here, so this is like a joint, so you can cut here. It has a working voltage of 2.4 volts, which is very stable. You won't experience any voltage drop along your strip. One of the cool advantage with this DMX lead strip is that it supports dual signal, which means that if one of the 50 by 50 SDM lead is broken or is affected, it won't affect the function of other LED strips. I'm going to demonstrate how to set the address with this, this HA, H807SA controller. So I already connected my lead strip to my controller and my power supply. So let me go to the controller. We have four buttons on the controller. We have the, we have the menu button, we have the negative button, positive button, and the OK button. First, let's set our pixel channel. So here I'm using, I'm using RGBW, so we have four channels here. So here I need to set the channel to four. To set the channel to your desired channel of your strip, you just need to press negative or positive. So here is four, so here we have four channels. So after four channels, I press OK here. So save successfully. So this step we're done. Then we press again. Now let's say the IC chip number here. As I mentioned before, the IC chip we are using on this LED strip is, is TM512AC. So you press OK here. So here you can see it's already on TM, TM51AC. So if you want to change, if you have a different IC, you just come here, press. You see we have this one also for DMX. You see 521E for DMX as well. So all this DMX IC chip. So let's go to TM. So this is our TM, then after that, then you press OK here. So successfully, then you press again, menu to go back here. Now we are done. Now let's go and set the address, which is the most important factor we need to do here. So we continue pressing here again. We continue pressing until we, so here we come here on setting address. We come here on setting address. So on the address here, let me put my strip close by. So on the address here, you can see it's on one. So what you need to do is you have different addresses. So let me just go on first, go on one. So on address, you press OK. Then you wait for a few seconds. Now it's setting the address. You can see it's setting the address. You can see even the light, my strip is changing colors. So when it's done, it's setting the address, it's going to return address end. So addressing end. So now we've set our first address. So if you want to set the second address, you repeat the same process. Let me just repeat, then you see. So I go on second address, address two, and I press OK. You can see it's setting the address. You can see on the lead strip, you can see it's setting the address. So now the address is done. So you can set a lot of addresses here. So you can set, so you can set more than 200 addresses using this H8 or A7 controller. Let me just go into brief details about this controller. Let me go into details about our H8 or 7 SA controller. So this controller comes with eight ports, so you can connect up to eight strips here. You can use this controller offline or online. So online, you need to connect Ethernet cable here, then you connect to your computer or PC. For offline, you need to have an SD card. First, you need to design your effects on any LED software. You can use LED Studio, 
mud rigs. Then you copy your effects to the MC. Then you copy your effects to the SD card. Then you put your SD card here where you can plug your SD card here. So when you plug your SD card, you don't need to connect to the internet or to connect to the software. This is one of, this is our best seller controller. Come and get it. It's really affordable. We have a lot of pieces in stock right now. So hurry up while stock lasts. Thank you for your time. See you on the next video.